Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today I'm going to show you how to create a multiple launch bookmark. Are you watching the right video? Well, if the start of your workday requires you to launch multiple web pages, and you're interested in creating one bookmark that can launch all of these web pages simultaneously, then yes. All right, so what is this, and how does it work? Let's dive in. So, what a multiple launch bookmark is, is simply a folder in your bookmarks toolbar. So here's your bookmarks toolbar, and here's the folders that I'm gonna show you more about today. But this folder holds multiple bookmarks, usually related to a single task, or related to web pages that you use frequently throughout the day. So a single task, or web pages used frequently throughout the day. And with a single click, you can launch all of them at once. And you can see here, each of those web pages is firing up. Okay, Josh, uh, exciting. Uh, I'm on board, show me how to do it. You got it. So very simply, right click anywhere in your bookmarks toolbar where there is space and add folder. This folder pops up. Uh, or the option to name it pops up. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it an emoji name. Um, and for this example, we're going to pretend we're creating a multiple launch bookmark for somebody who writes regularly in their blog. Um, so we're going to create the bookmark, the multiple launch bookmark that helps us launch all the web pages related to blog writing tasks. And so I'm using the write emoji to remind myself um, that's what this folder is for. And I talk about renaming bookmarks in video 81, description down below if you want some more about that. But here we go, so we've got it named. Go ahead and click Save. And it's right over here, there's the bookmark. I'm gonna move it closer to pole position over here. And so there it is. Now I'm going to open each of the websites that I use in the order that I use them because the top bookmark is gonna be the far left bookmark when I launch all of the web pages. What do I mean by that? So when I'm writing this blog, or you're writing this blog, wait, you're writing this blog? <laughs> uh, I start with my list of blog ideas. So this is the first web page that I use when I'm doing blog stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this lock right here, and I'm gonna drag it into the new folder that I created, like that. Then I'm going to move on to the next web page that I use. In this case, it is a Google Doc where I write my blog posts. So I'm going to grab the lock, drop it in the folder, and it's going to put it in second, second position. So there it is. That's it. I have created my quick launch folder. How do we, how do, we do this? Uh, or how do you launch it, if that's the question? Because I haven't explained it yet. Uh, simple right click and open all. In this case, it's two. Um, so open all two. And then also gives you the option to open a new window in an, in an incognito window and in a new tab group. And so if you use tab groups, that can be handy. I don't use those, so we're just going to open all two, just like this. And you can see that it's launched both of these web pages. Uh, additionally, and Control-W closes them very quickly, you can hold your Control or Command button and click the folder, and it launches them just the same. So there we go. Cool. I'm on board, but give me some better reasons or some more reasons why I should use this. Happy to do so. All right, so why would you use it? Space. Uh, as you can see up here uh, across all these folders, and especially when I get to my AI folder, which is ridiculous, uh, you would run out of room very quickly if you were just putting bookmarks in your toolbar. Um, so save space. Uh, also, for me, it's very helpful that these bookmarks are grouped contextually by task. It's like, for me, a digital toolbox, kind of like this, uh, where everything's neatly organized and ready for me to pull out and use uh, for that particular task that I'm working on. Again, contextually grouped by task. If that doesn't work for you, uh, there's a French word called mise en place, uh, which is related to laying out all your ingredients before you begin to work or build or create or uh, make your recipe. Obviously, I'm not a uh, world famous chef. I'm, I'm stumbling over the words to cook right now, but uh, this is a similar idea, and this is how these folders work for me. 
everything I need for that task all grouped in the same location. Very handy uh, and easy to jump into and grab what I need. If, for instance, you weren't launching all of them at the same time. Um, so everything grouped contextually by task. Uh, so for example, and I've got them listed down here, uh, I'm creating something. So I would go to my create folder and up here you can see that my create folder is the little hand with the pencil and I've got my uh, links for my web pages related to creating right there. Um, and actually this quick launch bookmarks toolbar you see here is everything that I use to create these videos. So I've got my Google uh, Google Drive folder which has all my YouTube stuff in it and then I've got my create document and I've got my checklist and then I've got my list and my bitly links deal uh, so for me when I go to create I just launch this folder or each one one by one at a time depending on what I'm what I'm working on all right if I'm reading or saving something I go to my reading folder or if I need to save an article the options to do so are also in the same folder so reading or saving I go to my reading folder publishing something jump in my publishing folder right here. Here's all my publishing options. Um, these are what work for me. Think about the tasks that work for you or the tasks that you do and how you could arrange bookmarks or a multiple launch bookmark folder in your bookmarks toolbar uh, to speed up your workflows. And of course, finally, uh, the quick launch function would be the last reason why you should do this. Thanks for watching. Uh, if what I've shared with you here inspires you to do this, please let me know. I'd love to hear that. Um, also, don't forget, uh, linked down below in the video description is much, or linked in the video description down below is much linked goodness. So check that out, other related videos and whatnot. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share if this was handy or share it with somebody else that might find it handy. Uh, and as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.